You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This is Brother Hosanna David. Welcome to the Narrow Ways Christ for All Nations. Today, we want to talk about the days of Noah today. We want to look at the days of Noah. What was the prevailing situation? And compare it with what is happening today. Why do we want to do this? It is because Jesus Christ said that as it was in the days of Noah, so is going to be during his return. So if we want to know when Jesus Christ will return, we have to look at the signs of the times. So if he says, as it was in the days of Noah, then it is profitable for us. It is very, very important that we travel to the days of Noah and look at what actually existed there. Before we begin this message, please subscribe to this channel, The Narrow Ways Christ for All Nations. Also turn on the notification bell so that you can receive updates whenever we post any video. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you speak to us, even briefly today. Open our eyes to understand. Open our understanding, O Lord. Help us to know what the signs of the times that we are living in are. Lord, we pray that your spirit will give us the spirit of watchfulness. Help us to be sober. Help us to be wise. Help us to look forward to, your, to the rapture and to your second coming. Help us, O Lord, to live a life that is worthy of the calling that you have given to us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Please share this video with someone. If you're watching this video, please make sure you share this video and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. So I said we are looking at the days of Noah today. What actually was happening in the days of Noah? Before we go into that, let's read our test for today, Matthew chapter 24, 37 to 39. Matthew 24, 37 to 39. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. One thing we have to mark in this place is that the days of Noah led to a sudden destruction. There was a sudden destruction. Then again, there was deception. Because you can have millions of people living and destruction is coming. Not the destruction that they are not aware of. For years, Noah was preaching and warning these people that destruction is coming. God said, I should build an ark. No one assisted him. Even when he was entering the ark, nobody said, okay, let me just enter. Paradventure, the flood comes. No one did that. No one even experimented that because they were so deceived. And all of them, except for Noah and his family, were all destroyed. In the days of Noah, what exactly was happening in the days of Noah? Let's look at the passage again. Let's look at some key things. Here, Jesus Christ said before the flood came, people were eating and drinking. They were partying. They were living their normal lives and going about their normal businesses. They were marrying and giving in marriage. Something there are two main things here. Number one, people were eating and drinking. People were partying. This has to do with 
the way they lived their lives. They were mostly concerned about enjoyment of the body and not for the salvation of their souls and not for the, the protection of their own lives. They were careful about their body but not about their lives because Noah was saying danger is coming, danger is coming and none of them listened. So they were eating and drinking, they were partying, they were feeding the flesh, they were mostly concerned about feeding their flesh. Then again, they were marrying and giving in marriage. Why would Jesus make reference to marriage? Why? It is because there was a type of marriage that God hated, that God never wanted, that was ongoing at that particular time. In Genesis chapter 6, 1 to 4, uh, we see exactly what happened there. Let's read Genesis chapter 6, 1 to 4. This was one of the reasons God had to destroy the whole earth. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, they were beautiful, and they took them wives of all which they chose. The sons of God, these, these were not the grandchildren of Cain, these were not the grandchildren of Shem, these were the sons of God and not the children of men. Fallen angels, those that offended in heaven and God drove them out of heaven. They came here, put on human flesh, they put on human form and they slept with the doctors of men. Why? Because they wanted to corrupt humanity. Is corruption ongoing today? Yes, because of this message, we will see that there is corruption of humanity today. Not everybody you see today is actually a human being. A lot of corruption has taken place and it is ongoing. 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. God was so disappointed that the body, which is his temple, was corrupted. This wasn't just ordinary sex. This was fallen angels, the sons of God, having sexual relationships with the daughters of men. What was the result? There were giants in those days. They gave birth to hybrids. These were not ordinary human beings because they did not have, they didn't have the form of human DNA. Hybrid. The result of this sexual relationship was giants, human fallen angels, hybrid. And when God saw that the DNA of man was already corrupt, he decided to wipe off all of that generation so that they don't continue to, con to contaminate the human DNA. Let's remember the promise of the Savior, the promise of God to send the seed of the woman, who is Jesus Christ, into the world in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between thy seed and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. After the fall of man, God made a promise of the Savior, the seed of the woman. And this promise must be fulfilled only if the seed comes through the woman. 
A woman whose DNA is not corrupt. When the devil heard this, he had to attack this promise of God. He went further to corrupt the DNA of humankind. It was only Noah and his family that were probably pure in the whole of that generation. Apart from the level of the high level of wickedness that was ongoing, that was in existence in the days of Noah, the human DNA was also corrupted by the devil. He sent some of his fallen angels and they slept with the daughters of men and they corrupted human DNA. As a result, there were giants in those days. Even after those days, after the days of Noah, he did the same. Remember Goliath. Remember the children of Anak. They were giants after those days. These giants did not come into existence out of man to woman relationship. But something interfered with Homo sapiens with humankind to destroy the human race this was what happened in the days of noah angels fallen angels did this and corrupted humankind another thing that was in existence then was sexual immorality these fallen angels introduced sexual immorality if you have been following me, I preached a message, the doctrine of Balaam. One of the things that God hates, one of the things that God detests is sexual immorality. There was sexual immorality in those days. And one of the forms of that immorality was not human to human, sexual relationship but human to the sons of God humans to fallen angels God hates it God hates humans sleeping with anything that is not humans God hates it is that happening today yes these are the days of Noah there is no doubt about it then in those days, there was a creation of hybrids, giants. The results of the sexual relationship between men and fallen angels resulted to giants, hybrids. Are there hybrids today? Yes. Number four, human DNA was corrupted in the days of Noah. This is one of the reasons God said that his spirit will no longer strive with man. This is one of the reasons, apart from human wickedness that was so high, that was so unimaginable, this was one of the reasons God decided to reduce the lifespan of man to 120 years. Again, in those days, there was the increase of sin. The increase of iniquity. Let's look at the same Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. There was evil. Is evil existing today? Is iniquity increasing today? Yes. Iniquity has increased uncountable number of times. Let's look at verse 11. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. There was violence everywhere. There was sin, there was violence. Number six, there was a great deception. The people did not believe that God could destroy the world. I do not believe that these people argued about the existence of God. But they believed that 
it was impossible for God to destroy the whole world. Why? Because there was, there was deception. Look at the world today, people encourage one another in sin. People encourage one another to continue to disobey God. That's exactly what is happening today. And that's one of the reasons if you must live a life that is susceptible in the sight of God, your friends must be few. That means if at all, you should have friends. They must be very, very few so that you don't get deceived. Today, evildoers act as if they are in a cult. If they see someone trying to come out of sin, they will all team up and fight against you. This is part of the strategies to continue to stretch the life of deception on earth. People were deceived. I believe there were people, maybe one or two of them, who would say, um, why don't we even listen to Noah? Noah is so determined in building the ark. Are we sure that God is not going to destroy this world? But you know, as usual, there would be people who would say, keep quiet, who told you that God is going to destroy this earth. Have our fathers not lived 600, 900 years, 300 years, 500 years. So why do you think God is going to destroy the earth? Has God not said, multiply and fill the earth? Deception. So also today, sinners are gathered in different congregations, which some people call churches, but are not, but are of the synagogues of Satan himself. People gather sinners together and feed them with so much sweet lies that they no longer listen to the truth. How could someone who says he or she is a believer be offended by the word repent? Repentance is a singular word that calls people out of the world into the kingdom of God. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. But there are people in the church who hate the word repentance with all their lives. They hate it. Why? Because somebody is feeding them with lies. And they believe the lies. They believe that because they prayed one prayer some time ago, they are saved. This is deception. The same type of deception that existed in the time of Noah. None of them believed. But where are they today? They were all swept away by the flood. Then lastly, there was mockery. A lot of mockery. Mockery here and there. People made jest of those who are genuine Christians. They call us all sort of names. People believe that if you say we should repent, not live in sin, they believe that we are doing over syllables and that we, we need not do anything so long as we confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and accept him into our hearts, we don't need to do anything. So we can go ahead and eat and drink and live in debauchery and live a loose lifestyle and suddenly end up in the bosom of Abraham. It is a pure lie. It doesn't work like that. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from evil. 2 Timothy 2 verse 19. Those of us who name 
the name of Christ and profess to be Christians must depart from evil. We must not live in it. We must not make it to grow. This was exactly what was happening in the days of Noah. So today, let's talk about today. Why is today the days of Noah? Why should I believe someone saying that the, the return of Jesus Christ is at hand? Why should I believe that the rapture can take place at any time? Why must I believe this? Are these the days of Noah? Yes, 100%. Is there the corruption of humankind? Yes, there is a full-fledged war that has been launched against humankind to corrupt humanity. Let's look at a few of them. Number one, pharmacia. Pharmacia, sorceries. Revelation chapter 18 verse 23 says, For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by their sorceries, pharmacia, pharmacy, were all nations deceived. All nations were deceived by pharmacia. If you were in this world, year 2020 till date, you will know that pharmacia was used to deceive the whole world, except a few people. Even till today, the scales have not fallen out of the eyes of many. They are still running to death. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Deception. And they are pumping different kind of things into humanity. We have to be wise as humans. Be wise Christians. Be wise. I just did a video which I posted yesterday on Eagle Eye Opener. It is a video about those who have received this thing. The Lord pointed out three things they must do. Three important things they must do. If you have not watched that video, please watch that video. Neuroscience and pharmacia want to produce human noid. Just the way we have androids, in fact, humanoids have started existing already. We're not going to go into details. Then, are there hybrids? Hybrid humans? Yes, they are existing. It's not everybody you see living that is a human being. Angels, fallen angels, continue to put on human form and continue to sleep with the daughters of men. There are so many agents of darkness from the marine kingdom, from the water world, that come into this earth year after year to pollute the children of men, to contaminate the DNA of mankind. Then again, spiritual possession. Some humans you see today, they have been polluted with different kind of demonic spirits. Some are into witchcraft. Some are into marine kingdoms. They are in their billions. They are not in their millions. They are in their billions. Remember, the human body can never in any day be empty. It is either you have the spirit of God or you have the spirit of the world, which is the spirit of Satan himself. The human body was created for God and it can never be empty. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, after God created man, he breathed into the nostril of man the breath of life and man became a living soul. 
and that breath is the same thing as spirit. God put his spirit in man to live in man. So in man was humanity and divinity met. Divinity and humanity fused together in man. So it wasn't a strange thing for Jesus to call himself the son of man. It wasn't strange for Jesus to come, even though he is God, and live in the womb of Mary, the seed of the woman that the devil tried to destroy. The offsprings of Adam and Eve corrupt their DNA. So that the seed of the woman will become corrupt. And Jesus will not come to deliver mankind through the prophesied means. It was strange for Jesus to come. Because this is not the first time that God's spirit entered into man. It has happened before in Genesis. To seven. The human body can never be empty. It's either you have the spirit of God or you have the spirit of the world. A lot of people have become possessed. A lot of human beings are harboring demons in themselves. Too many evil going on because a lot of human beings are under the influence of demonic spirits. Some of them are aware, some of them are not aware. Look at today's world. There is a presence of the sons of God in this world. They are everywhere. Fallen angels. They are everywhere. They are in different sectors. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 says, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan can transform into an angel of light. They have the power to transform. Remember the Bible, the angel that visited Jacob, that the angel he wrestled with came in human form. The angel that visited Manoah, the father and the mother of Samson, they came in human form. Remember the angel that appeared to Balaam. He appeared in human form. The one that came to Abraham even ate the two men, angels. They ate food. So it is not strange for demonic beings or for satanic angels to put on human form and sleep with people. Let me tell you a very short story. There was this lady uh, in 2007 I conducted deliverance for. She was having a spirit husband and she told me that when she was into prostitution, a man slept with her and after the man left, she was shivering. She was catching so much cold. And then the spirit husband who was there and was always with her told her that the person that slept with her was not a human being. He did everything normal. But she was not aware that the person she had as a customer was not a human being. She felt it that something happened to her but she did not know until the spirit husband told her that the person that just slept with her was not a human being. It pains me when I see people sleep around and misbehave and they call uh, their parents witches and wizards that they are responsible for their problems. I weep for them because it is not everybody you see that is a human being. And I want Christians you don't sleep around and misbehave and expect your destiny to come to fulfillment. It is a lie. It is a very big lie. 
You can't live your life the way you want in a world where Satan dwells, where demonic beings live. You can't live your life anyhow and expect God's hand to move in your life. It is a pure lie. The Lord revealed to me some time ago that many of those who are in the pornographic industry are not children of men. That many of them are from the marine kingdoms and they are on earth producing evil, immoral videos to corrupt the sons of men, to corrupt humanity. Some of them intermarry with humans. I've also released a prophetic message some time ago that before anybody, if you call yourself a Christian, before you must get married, know the parents of the person you are getting married to. If, if the parents, if the person says the parents are dead, try to check the background of the person. Although some are born as humans, but a hybrid, some have no earthly parents at all, and they are on earth. Those of you who sleep around, probably you may have slept with one or two of them. Do you know this could be probably the source of your problem? We have to be wise. This earth is prison planet. This earth is a battlefield. This earth is a battleground. It is only those who live their lives deliberately that can overcome the temptations of this world. You can't live your life loosely and expect everything to be in place. Let's continue. Look at the level of sexual immorality in our society today. As it was in the days of Noah, daughters of men had sexual relationships with fallen angels and gave birth to hybrids, giants. It is happening today. It is even worse today. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 4. There are some key things I want to point out from this place. Number one, the Bible says that for men shall be lovers of them, of their own selves. They shall love their flesh. They shall love themselves. Anything their body wants, they would give it to themselves without natural affection, natural love. They will lack it. Then again, incontinent, without self-control, uncontrollable, becoming very, very loose, very loose, without self-control, incontinent. We have a lot of addicts today in the world. People who are, who are controlled by their lust. Look at the level of immorality that people now go naked. Some people say they are Christians. They wear bikini, honorary panties in, in public. Wear honorary panties in public pools. This is a height of immorality. Some wear this in their private swimming pools and they, they snap pictures and post them on a World Wide Web Facebook or World Wide Web Instagram or Snapchat. Today, immorality has eaten up our society. It has eaten up everywhere. It is now so bad. Let me tell you something. Go to churches where they are doing all nights. And go to the dark corners of the places. You will see youths. I know some of them are not Christians. They just come around. But you will see those who are born in church. 
who were born as Christians in those dark corners doing nonsense. There was a day an all night was ongoing and I decided to move around. I saw a boy carrying a girl, very young girl, who I think is not even up to 18 years, on his laps. And there were other youths there. I was very, very angry. The boy was resisting me. I told him, if you misbehave, I will call the security on you and they will deal with you here. You don't bring your sexual immorality into a church compound. It is so bad today. So bad. But let us remember the days of Noah. If God destroyed the days of the, the people in the time of Noah, he would destroy this one a hundred times. Because evil is too much. Look at the level of sexual immorality. It is so bad. Let us read Romans 1, 26 and 27. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Into that which is against nature. Into that which is against nature. And we, there are lots of unnatural relationships in the world today. Even some churches have embraced this new advancement in sin. And likewise, verse 27, and likewise, also the men, living the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. Too much immorality in our lands today. May God Almighty deliver those who have been chosen for the kingdom before the foundation of the world. Then look at the increase of sin. Matthew 24 verse 12 says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall what's good. Romans 1.30 says, Inventors of evil things. Today, there are people, all they invent are evil things. Some people ask, Oh, where is smoking in the Bible? Where is taking drugs in the Bible? They ask all these questions. So they don't know that sin evolves. So they, don't, they haven't seen the scripture. Romans 1.30 Inventors of evil things. To invent is to discover. Is to produce. Is to bring it to existence. Day after day, Satan invents new sins. He invents new evil things. Today, if you give yourself to pleasure, there are things that Satan has invented that will make you drunk and dead in pleasure. Sin is crazy. If you call yourself a child of God, if you love your soul, know that these are the days of Noah and you must run for the salvation of your soul. Don't go to hell. Don't try it. Don't in any way go to hell. Hell is too hot for you. It is too hot. Hell, hell is too hot for you. Don't ever go there. Don't try it. Don't go to hell. Hell wasn't created for humans. Don't go there. Don't go to hell. Hell is not a place God created for us humans. Don't go there. Then again, mockers. There are mockers everywhere. People mocking us. Mocking us, holy, holy. Yes. 
Do I have anything to lose in this world? I have nothing to lose. I have one aim. And that aim is to make heaven. Naked I came into this world and naked we will all leave. We are not taking anything from this world. But the works we have done shall follow us. Don't live like others. Don't live like those in the world. Don't live like the children of this world who mock us. So it was in the days of Noah. They were mocking Noah. Oh, how could a man build this giant uh, ark on a dry ground? It doesn't make sense, of course. Does it make sense? Does it make any sense? But at the end, who was foolish and who was wise? There is a way. There is a way, a broad way, that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Today, people have forgotten about God. People have forgotten about the kingdom. Look at the heat. Look at the strength, the zeal with which most men of God are gathering, amassing wealth for themselves in this world. Look at the, the level of effort. They put into pursuing money. This should tell you that majority of us who are men of God have been deceived. If we channel the same energy into the pursuit of human souls, we would have converted probably half of the world. Majority of people have been deceived. A lot of people who are Christians, even many of us who are men of God, don't care about heaven anymore. 2007, when I told a pastor, a general of Asia, that I had no girlfriend, he was mocking me. He laughed at me. He was saying, I was not man enough. That is the kind of times we are living in. There shall be mockers. Jude 18. How that they told you that there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Shall be mockers. Then lastly, the great deception. Matthew 24, 11 and 24. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect there is deception if anybody had told us that a time would come that the whole world would be deceived as almost everybody was deceived year 2020 we wouldn't have believed it but we should know that deception is a very powerful tool. If Satan used it in heaven and succeeded to the extent of deceiving one third of the stars of heaven, one third of God's angels in heaven, if he succeeded to that extent, then you should know that there is need for us to be careful. If not, we will be deceived too. Deception is very, very powerful. Let us be careful. We are living in the days of Noah. How ready are you? Do you have your own ark? Are you in the ark already? If you die today, will you make heaven? Some of us are afraid of physical death, but we are not afraid of eternal death. We don't care because we don't know the value. We don't know what it has taken. These are the days of Noah. Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? Am I ready? Are you ready? Are you saved? If you are not saved, this is the time to be saved. You don't need money to be saved. You, you don't need to pay. Everything has been paid for. 
For God so much loved the world, despite the sinfulness of mankind, that He sent His only begotten Son on His own volition. On his own accord, he sent him into this world to die for us. That whosoever believeth in him, if you can just believe in him, you will not perish. Everything has been paid for. But you will have everlasting life. If you have once believed in him and you are looking back, please wake up. Wake up now. There is no more time. This is the time to wake up. Don't look at anybody. Pursue your salvation. Be blind to the things of this world and pursue that salvation. There is a crown that is laid ahead of you. Pursue that crown. Don't lose this. Seek ye first this kingdom. This kingdom. Seek ye first this kingdom. And every other thing shall be added unto you. You can resolve like me to choose to even be poor, to choose to even die young, to choose to even live in sickness, whichever way. If God chooses that for me as my Lord, oh, I am glad. There is only one thing I ask for that I should enter this kingdom in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth. Me, I don't care about the time of departure. The there is nothing like dying young in the dictionary of God. There is nothing like dying poor in the dictionary of God. There is nothing like dying in sickness in the dictionary of God. Only one thing counts. Have you been sealed with the seal of God's ownership? It's your garment of salvation without spots and wrinkle. That is what matters. Don't lose your soul for any reason. Don't ever try to make up your mind to lose your soul. Rather, make up your mind to lose if possible, lose everything for the sake of the kingdom. Don't try to gain other things and lose the kingdom. We have few days to spend here. As we are talking now, we are leaving this place. We are on our way. Everybody is on the queue. I am either ahead of you on the queue or you are ahead of me. We are not going back to our mother's womb. No! Everybody is going straight to the grave. From the womb to the grave. Don't allow your problems to deceive you. Don't allow your poverty to deceive you. We are already in the days of Noah. Wake up and fight this fight to the end. There is a crown that is awaiting us. There is a city that is built with gold and precious stones where we shall be forever and ever are you ready for the new jerusalem that we come down from heaven to this earth are you ready to be in the renovated world that is called paradise sacrifice everything it takes to enter if it means Sacrificing all, please do. You will never regret it. Just to lose anything to enter the kingdom. Don't be foolish enough to sacrifice the kingdom for anything. It is foolishness. You don't have more than 120 years here. You don't have up to 150 I don't have up to that. But at the other side, we have eternity. May God Almighty help us. Let us pray. 
Lord, every day I pray and ask you to help me. Lord, I also pray that you help these your children. We know the time is short. You are coming very, very soon. You opened my eyes some days ago and I saw angels wrapping up the activities of this stage, of this phase of the world. It is wrap up time. You shook me and you were speaking through me. Wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. I was screaming, wrap up. It's wrapping up time. But Lord, how ready are we? Lord, you once passed through this world. You know how dangerous this world is. Help us in our weakness. Help us in the areas of our weaknesses. Lord, please help us. Everything is passing away. Before our very eyes, we see everything passing away. There is a siege that is being laid about humanity. Round about humankind, there is a siege that is being laid around us. We are seeing it. The destruction of agriculture. We are seeing it. The destruction of energy. We are seeing it. The destruction and disruption of supply chains, we are seeing it. The destruction of the method of buying and selling and adoption of central bank digital currency all over the world, over 100 nations have either adopted or they are testing it. Lord, help us. Help us, O oh Lord. We have entered the other side of life where terrible things as written in the Bible will come to pass. Lord, help us. Help us to be wise. Help us not to be foolish. Help us to be faithful at all times. In the time of joy, in the time of sorrow, in the time, time of happiness, in the time of sadness, in the time of poverty, in the time of riches, in the time of lack, in the time of plenty, time of health, in the time of sickness, in the time of freedom and imprisonment. Lord, help us to be true. Help us to follow you to the end. This is our desire. This is our cry. Lord, we pray for those who do not know you. Lord, if you could call me and change me, even when I was without sense, you can call your people and change your people. Here, the cry of your children and stretch your hand of salvation towards them. And now, Lord, I pray for as many that are sick. If you are sick and you are listening to me, may the Lord God Almighty heal you of every sickness. Be healed in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I declare you are healed. If you are possessed, if you are suffering from demonic infestation or demonic covenants in the name of Jesus, I declare 
your deliverance now in the name of Jesus be free Lord I pray for as many who have been supporting this ministry that you will support them in every area of their lives provide for them let them not lack thank you Lord in Jesus Christ's name we pray Amen thank you for watching please share this video with someone and also subscribe to this channel the narrow is christ for all nations if you need counseling or you want to give your life to christ my contact details are on the screen feel very free to contact me may the lord bless you and keep you even as you strive to enter this kingdom in jesus christ's name amen see you next time